Welcome to Go Configure's WAP tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to use the WAP system on your mobile phone. The system is really the internet using a web browser on your phone. So therefore it's highly recommended that you purchase the unlimited data plan. Uh, this typically will cost you $10 to $15 a month, but it's something you're going to use often, so it's well worth it. The website addresses are listed here. The first one works most of the time. It depends on the model phone. If the first one does not work, then try the second one. Please take note of these and I suggest that you bookmark it so that you're not having to type this in each time. In order to sign in the system, first of all this is the screen that you're going to find when you type in that URL. Um, the screens more or less look like this. This is a simulated version that's on a computer. You can access the system as well on a laptop computer uh, or a mobile phone with internet. To sign in, use your tech ID number. This should have been emailed to you with your introductory materials. It's a four digit number. If you don't have that, please contact your dispatcher or regional manager. The password is simple. It's the last four digits of your social security number. Type those both in and click go. Then you'll come to the select order screen. If you have more than one order, just click on the down arrow and they should be listed there. Um, so select the order. Well, first of all, let's look at what these numbers mean. This is the order number. The D means dispatch, so you haven't started it yet. And then a brief description of the address. And then you'll click go. and you can begin to process the order. So here's more information on this order. Uh, you're going to pick up at this store number and here's the location and here's who you're going to deliver it to and here's where we ask for the first timestamp which is arrived at store. So you'll click on arrived at store and that'll take you to this screen saying that uh, that timestamp has been successfully recorded. I'll take you to the next step which is to timestamp when you leave the store. The reason we ask for this is sometimes the stores, some stores will take longer than they should to uh, help us get loaded out and started uh, on our day. So we want to know that just to identify any problems we could be having. Uh, when you click left store, it'll also give you the opportunity to request a pre-call, which we want to do for each and every customer. So you have the choice depending on how long you think it's going to take to get to the customer you can do a 30 minute or a 60 minute pre-call um, which is an automated call that's going to go to the customer letting them know that you're on your way going to the next step well one more thing to note here uh, if this is a sports authority order you must also verify the SKU before executing the pre-call so there'll be another uh, field that you'll actually type in the SKU number um, if you don't type in the correct number, or at least the number that matches the order, uh, you can't proceed with the order, so you have to contact your dispatcher. Moving on, um, after you click the pre-call, you'll get this screen. All you have to do is click back to orders. And then the next step is once you arrive at the customer location, you will click arrived at customer. Uh, this timestamp is especially important because this allows us to report back to our retail customers that we are hitting our time windows and that we're keeping our promise and arriving on time. After you do that, you'll just click back to orders. And the very last step is going to be to complete the order. So you'll again go back to this order number. You'll click completed after typing in the uh, proof of delivery which is going to be always the name of the customer that signed for the delivery and or assembly. Once you click completed, that's it. Then there will be more orders that you can potentially process depending on if you have more orders for that day. This concludes the WAP training tutorial.